Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Inku unboxing video and it is the May box. So, it looks like we've got some pretty exciting stuff in this box, so let's get right into it. Um, we have a ruler. This is a really nice ruler and actually it's a little longer than your standard um, desk ruler. I don't know if that makes sense, but these sort of rulers I find are usually 15 centimeters, but this is 17 centimeters. Let me just pull mine out. Yeah. This is the sort of ruler. I have a couple of these in different pencil cases, but this is like standard for a desk because it's not too big, but it's big enough um, to do basic stuff. Um, and this is 17. I kind of like this and I really like the design on it too. Um, and then we've got a couple pen. No, we've got one pen. Uh, this is a pencil. <laughs> it's a Gudetama pencil, which um, I think it's Tubi. All right, I'll put that aside. I don't usually test this. And then I think I've seen this before. Uh, oh, I can't remember which unboxing it was in. It'd be somewhere on my desk. I would have had it somewhere available, but um, I think I had. I tried a purple one. It might have been with Zen Pops. Anyway, I'll try this at the end you'll see it's really good I love it all right so then we've got a tiny little coin purse is what this looks like yeah it's an adorable little coin purse it's pretty solid too I kind of like the um, almost vinyl feel on the outside because I feel like anything that leaks inside might be a little bit safer than if it was pure cotton and then we have a Pachaco, which I don't know if you guys know, but Pachaco is my favorite Sanrio character. Um, love Pachaco, that was my favorite growing up. Glue stick. And then we have some pencil caps. This is cool, because I just started using a new pencil. I, I don't know why it seems strange um, to talk about it, because I feel like you get pen a lot of these pencils in um, a lot of boxes. But I try not to sharpen too many because I don't want too many on the go. But when you finally get to the end of the pencil, it is one of the most amazing feelings. You just feel so accomplished. So I got to start a new pencil, which I think I actually must have gotten this from an Inku unboxing as well. I just sharpened this up. So I kind of like the fact that I can put these lids on that now. And then I'm pretty sure this is an eraser. Oh, it's supposed to replicate some waffle dessert. Oh, this is the one. I think I've seen these in Japan, this particular one. <laughs> it looks like it. It's really cute. And actually, very functional razor. You get a lot of these novelty razors, which they look adorable. Oh, this smells really good. I can smell the vanilla on it. It smells amazing. Um, yeah, as I was saying, novelty erasers, they look really good, but they're completely impractical. This is actually usable. Not sure I'll use it. Oh, it smells so good, but I could put it in like a pencil case and have it almost sent up the pencil case. That would be nice. Then we have these like food sticker flakes. These look delicious. I probably shouldn't be filming just before lunchtime, but they do look really good. And then last one is a Sumiku Gurashi notebook, which I have a lot of notebooks and I give them away to friends and family, whoever needs notebooks. So Pretty much anyone in my circle shouldn't need to buy notebooks, but this one I'm probably going to keep. The lining is really interesting as well. Um, let me pull this up to see. But yeah, can you see that there's like lines that go horizontally, but there's also dotted lines that go vertically. So you've got a grid shape, but you've got all these extra lines if you want to do like calligraphy. But because of the grid shape, you can also write in um, Japanese. Uh, you can also write in like hiragana, katakana, kanji. It's really versatile. I'm kind of low-key impressed. Uh, you kind of got instructed. <laughs> Everything I said is right here. I didn't even notice this part. But this is so cool. I wish more notebooks were like this. I've never seen any lining like this before. I love it. Awesome. So let's go try out that marker. This is the last page of this book. I'm probably going to try it a couple more times to keep it, but I think I'm at the end of this notebook. All right. So the really cool thing about this pen, which I love, is that it has a highlighter portion and a pen portion, but it kind of comes together like this. So you can flip them rather than having to like, if it was double the jewel ended, you have to take the lid off here. So you've got your blue highlighter. Oops. It's probably because we're at the last page of this um, notebook, so it's a little bit shaky. 
I'm just gonna make sure I don't get unfocused. And then we've got this pen part here, which is supposed to be pretty much the same ink, inku box. And then if I write, oh yeah, you can hardly see it. Sometimes when you have dual ended pens, the writing portion is a little, the writing ink is a little darker than the highlighting ink, so you can write on top of it, but um, probably wouldn't work in that instance. But yeah, that's essentially how it works. And I feel like I'm slowly building up the collection through unboxings. I have the purple one, I have the blue one. I don't actually know what other colors there are, but I don't think the range is massive. So yeah. Anyways, that is everything in May's Inku box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting from my room. Back to you, internet. Mm -hmm.